Okay, this is a short video on lighting on the actual layout I have, the N-scale layout. Uh, the previous video was lighting the N-scale layout. This is the lighting that's actually on it. Um, so the first thing I want to show is an antenna tower. Uh, I bought this as a kit, the, the antenna uh, tower itself, uh, what you see here in red and white. Uh, it was made out of wood, I put it together, and then I, uh, I, I kind of glued it up and painted it. Overall, it took about, uh, I would say, about two hours to, to put everything together. Um, the lighting kit was from a company called Backtronics. It's a little circuit board you buy. And it has enough outputs to put that red LED at the top that's fading in and out, and also the flashing white LEDs down the middle. I uh, just glued it to the top of the mountain, and uh, I think it came out pretty well. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show is the yards, freight yards I have. Um, what I did here was I put a lighted LED at the end of each yard line and the reason I did that is that I have uh, yards, all the yards I have um, are powered or unpowered uh, and they're switchable and the reason I did this is that when I brought an engine into the uh, yard I wanted to make sure it was off, really off. Um, sometimes the F8 worked, sometimes it didn't work as well as I wanted it to work or it took a while and the same when they started up. So I wanted to shut off the uh, the yard um, with a switch. Um, also some a lot of locomotives take a small amount of current even when the uh, sound is turned off. So I, I put a, uh, uh, a type I think this is a type C, a uh, type A uh, Kato, Kato uh, Unitrack bumper and let's take a look at that in more detail. If you go over here I see I can show you one I have in progress. Basically what I did as soon as I get this in focus is I drilled a hole in the top of the bumper and put a, a bicolor LED in there, red and green and then I ran the three wires down through the, uh, the layout, through the foam and it'll snap, it'll snap in here. And um, this is a much yard, a larger yard that you can see here. It has about 20, 21 tracks. So I didn't put one on every track. I th just thought it'd be too overwhelming. Uh, what I may do is put one at the peak of the yard house there, but I may not either. Um, that may just be look a little strange. But I'm going to have just maybe one or two here, rather than 21. I just think there would be too much. So let's look at how they work. Over here on my control panel, you can see I have two switches, yard one and yard two. So when I switch these on, the yards are energized. And when they're turned on, you can see that the LEDs turn green. Uh, this is the type. This is the other type of uh, bumper they have, and when I turn it off, they turn red, meaning it's it's out. Same for the other one. The yards, other other ones, the same one, same way. Uh, if you look at in the distance here, you can see the engine house, and I have an adjustment for the engine house to adjust the brightness of the LED. You can see that there, and then in the yard, uh, the yard house right here, the yard office. I have a golden white LED inside of there. Um, and it's a golden white ultra bright LED they call it. Um, so that lights up the, the yard office. So that's about it. Um, I thought I'd show you guys what I have for, uh, for lights right now, lighting. It's a, still a work in progress, but uh, I'll keep you updated. If you like this video, please uh, press like and also subscribe. Thanks very much.